in an update now to congressional negotiations to get the government open again. The House just followed the Senate's lead, lead passing a temporary fix. Louisiana U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy joins us now on the phone from Washington. Mr. Cassidy, I, this is a short-term fix. I, I think the big question is, how do you know we won't be in the same situation in a few weeks again? Oh, you don't know, except that the alternative is to shut down the government. And no one wants to do that. In this case, we were not... Republicans wanted to reauthorize the CHIP program for six years, wanted to continue the National Flood Insurance Program. That got shut down, too. So, so no one wants that to happen again. We're hoping the deadline will make people come together and find a solution. Is there a solution that both sides can agree on, you think? I think so. There's several issues out there, but the one that's got the most attention is how do we fulfill President Trump's pledge of increasing border security and address the so-called DACA kids uh, brought here as children and infants by their parents from another country? Uh, and, and there's been a lot of movement just in the last week to get us to that point. The deadline for that is not till March 5th, so there's time, but, but um, uh, it's, you know, clearly the challenge is how do you get it done uh, by March 5th, if not sooner, and I'm cautiously optimistic we can. But if that doesn't get done by early February, or are we in the same situation where the government shuts down again when this temporary deal expires? Well, we could be, although you could pass another short-term measure as long as you have the outline of a final deal. If you have the outline of a final deal, I think folks would accept one more short-term measure. But there has to be an outline of the final deal, and that just shows you the next three weeks are critical. What do you say to people who are just, you know, we've heard this over the years, just sick and tired of the, the way things are going in Washington, how there can't be any, you know, while we have a government shutdown, why does it have to come to this? Yeah, uh, our founding fathers set up our government to be inefficient. And my gosh, they did a great job. On the other hand, people were saying before we just passed the Tax Cut and Jobs Act, it would never happen, it would never happen, it would never happen, and then it happened. And all the doomsayers were wrong. And now we're seeing the fruits of that as there's increased investment and bonuses being given, et cetera. So it's easy to point towards where it hasn't worked well, but it does work, and we've seen the fruits of that work recently. So, again, I'm cautiously optimistic on this. All right, thank you for your time for joining us uh, from Washington tonight. Thank you. All right, take care. All right, it's not just uh, passengers uh, from the Middle East uh, getting extra secure scrutiny by airport security. Hear about the added response. To